Molly's brother Aluka arrived in Summer Bay earlier this month, making an unconventional entrance as he broke the lock to the farmhouse and sat on the sofa waiting for Molly to return. Molly was delighted to see his older brother, but he was curious as to why Aluka had suddenly decided to pay him a visit, especially considering he has a history of getting on the wrong side of the police. Not believing his brother's story that it was solely a social visit, Molly called his sister Alondra, who confirmed that Aluka was having to lay low. Iluka eventually confessed that he'd been hanging out with a group of dodgy guys known as the Allens, but when the police rocked up and arrested them all for stealing car parts, a misunderstanding led the Allens to believe that Aluka had snitched on them. He was innocent, but with the Allens out for blood, he was forced to hide away, and Summer Bay was the perfect location. When Justin's ute was stolen, Molly was quick to accuse his brother of having taken it especially as Aluka had been questioning Theo on Justin's garage business shortly before. In the end, the car thief was revealed to be Leah, Ada Nicodemu, who had simply borrowed the ute for some errands, but the damage was done. Aluka was furious that Molly had accused him of being behind the theft, and revealed that he had no need to steal cars, pulling out a bag full of cash, he revealed that he was sitting on his own fortune of $8,000. It's then that Aluka was forced to confess that he wasn't on the run because the Allens thought he'd snitched on them, he was on the run because he'd stolen $8,000 from the dangerous men. When Molly asked what Aluka needed the money for, he replied, the trial's in Queensland. When I get signed with the NRL contract, I'll pay the Allens back every cent. While Molly had his doubts that his brother was good enough to make it as a pro, Aluka was certain that he had a great future ahead of him. Molly was furious telling his brother that he was deluded if he thought the Allens would let the theft go. He later had a heart-to-heart -heart with Aluka, telling him that he was too old to be trying out for a professional sporting league, and that it was time to let the dream die. Aluka eventually accepted that his brother was right, and realized that he needed to find a way to pay the gang back without facing the consequences, 